When you get divorced, there are two types of support payments. One of them is called child support. Calculating child support is based not only on the difference in income, but also on who gets the most time with the kids. Are you going to have your kid 86% of the time, like in a sole custody situation, or only 50% of the time, as in a shared custody situation? There's a lot of money at stake for, for both the high earner and the lesser earner. But let's say time goes by and you don't make as much money as you used to, or you want to spend more time with your kids. It's very difficult to get child support modified downward. And if you live in a major city, the wages are high, the cost of living is high, and the person who gets primary custody of the kids will realize, hey, I can move out of the city, my expenses will be far less, but I'll still keep getting that high child support amount based on the parent who's left behind in the major city. And time and again, very often, the parent who's left behind in the major city, they'll go to the court and say, hey, look, I love my child, I want to be with my child, I'm going to give up my good paying job in the city to go move to this small town so I can be with my child more. And all I want you to do, Your Honor, is just respect the fact that of course I can't make as much income living in this little town as I could living in Los Angeles or San Francisco or a major city. And the vast majority of the time the judge will say tough luck. Well, it's difficult to adjust to somebody who wants to, you know, who for years has maintained this level of earning based on the commitment of time, to now say, well, I'm going to diminish my hours so I can spend more time with this child. If he really and truly wanted to spend more time with the child, is very admirable. But is he taking a pay cut that makes this unrealistic? These people end up racking up a big child support debt. A lot of states have interest on the debt. Sometimes that interest is as high as 10 or 12%. And the person ends up saddled with a debt that they can no longer pay. People are being put in jail for not having the ability to pay their child support. To learn more shocking truths, see Divorce Corp. the movie, coming to theaters this January. What do you think about divorce? Like, subscribe, and comment below. Join the movement and help reform the family courts. Only together can we change the system.